Welcome back to Eternal Threads, part five. We're going down to the hidden room now that we got the key from our boy, Tom. So we had to go back in time to get it. Now we can go in here. About to find out what it is. What's in here? Here we go. Get the key. Whoa, Mama! When did you go all Walter White? It's cannabis, not crystal meth. I bloody well know what it is. Mm. It's better than Turkish delight. Can I try some? You grow it. I don't think you'd like it. It's this stuff is not gonna work that way. Shit. Doesn't get you high. No. It's for your mum. How the hell did you figure that out? I'm not Jay, but I can still put two and two together. Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Stops the shakes. Helps the sleep. Takes away the pain. And unlike morphine, it doesn't turn her into a bloody zombie. Hey, how about I make us a nice cup of tea? Yeah, that'd be great. Magic tea. I wonder if they're still there. Whoa, the plants are still here. CBD gardeners, guy. That's why he's so into plants. Here and untouched. Hmm. That's a small key. Maybe for a padlock or filing cabinet or something like that. Hmm. to the door down here so this is being untouched this is definitely the source of the temporal abnormally 43 I believe there is something in that safe something that should not be here I'm very curious to know what it is Now that we found that out, we can do this event in the kitchen. Day five, Sunday, twelve twenty. Location kitchen. So this area is left untouched pretty much. Okay. But first, maybe one of those keys goes to this dark room. No, damn. You still need to go. So how did you start down this road? Some people at the care home mentioned it. Me and my mum talked about it, and she wanted to give it a go. Really? Just like that? Your mum was okay with it? Mm, she was a photographer in the 80s. I'm pretty sure there's lots of things she's okay with. So anyway, I bought some, she tried it, it worked. 
But how did you go from there to Gardner's World? I just did some research. Found out the different strains, so I knew how to grow it myself. Asked around, read some books, and I found out an awful lot of stuff on the internet. So is that your first batch? No, I, I did one as a test. Went a bit wrong. Then I tried a couple, and they turned out all right. So I went up a bit. What next? Lord of the Jungle? <laughs> I don't think I need to go that far. What's there should last her a good six months, maybe a year. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh oh. Blackmailed. You don't happen to have two ground line about, do you? Fuck no? What do you need that for? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It's my own stupid form. Tell me. Remember when I said I asked around? It turns out I should have been more careful. There's a guy blackmailing me. Two grand or he turns me in. Is this the Weasley looking scumbag who turns up at the party? Yep. That's him. Neil almost clunked him one. Good on Neil. Well, we could go one further. You can mix cement, right? How's about a new patio? Oh, God, I'd love to. But I think that's a little extreme as well as, you know, wrong. Right, wrong. Sometimes it's so hard to tell. Got a weasel problem. Day 5, Sunday, 16.30. Location, Hall. You're back. We are. How's Daniel? Mm, bit busy. He's got his mock A levels in a few weeks, but he seems good. He, uh, he asked after you. Ah, did he now? Of course he did. You glided into his life with your artsy ways just when he was starting to notice girls for the first time. <laughs> He's had you on a pedestal ever since. Ah, what it is to be adored. Well, you're too old for him, so you just stay up on that pedestal out of reach or I will hurt you. Don't say that. She'd probably enjoy it. <laughs> Spoil sport. And how's your dad? Oh, he's fine. And I tell you, he has not lost his touch in the kitchen. Ooh, roast. Lamb. Nice dessert. Why am I? Homemade sponge pudding. Syrup. Oh, yeah. Custard? Of course. Wait, are you two just friends with me because of my dad's cooking? No. Of course not. There's more reasons than that. Yeah, there's more... lots of reasons. Yeah, lots, lots. I hate you both. Did you bring any back? I thought you said you loved them. What's going on? Day 5, Sunday. 1700 hours. Harry, whoever this is. Oh. Hi, Harry. Your husband? Hello. I think he's almost ready. Yeah, that's what I'll it is. go call him. Uh, actually, can we talk first? Alright, let's talk. Um, okay. Let's go in the living room. Fine. Let's been at the door. Day 5, Sunday, 17.02. Location. I want to know when you're coming home. I... I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I'm still trying to work some things out in my head. Like what? Look, Kieran needs you. 
He's had to eat jam butties at school and chippy teas all last week. God knows where his pee kit is. It's under the stairs, where it's always been. The house is falling apart, Linda. You know, I can't work that washing machine. And the neighbours keep asking when you're going to be back and how your mum is. Why? What did you tell them? That she was sick and you were looking after her. Well, maybe you shouldn't lie to the neighbours then. And when you go round to apologise, maybe you can ask them to teach you how to do some shopping and use a washing machine. Kieran, your dad's here. Coming. Day 5, Sunday, 1715. Location, backyard. Mind if I join you? Sure. Kieran's nice. Smart, funny. Yeah. I don't know where he gets it from. I know exactly where he gets it from. <laughs> So, how are you doing? I miss him so much. Ooh. What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, my choices are either go back and be miserable or try and make a new life and only have Kieran part time. Well, there is a third mm. option. What do you mean? Go back home to your life, to your son, and then just get rid of everything that doesn't work. Um, what about, you know, my husband? Yeah, well, she give him a chance her. if you want. Marriage counsellor, maybe. Hmm. But if he doesn't put in the effort to change, get rid then of him by. as well. Wow. That's just... Wow. I'd never even thought of that. It's kind of the grab the bull by the horns approach. <laughs> it can get a little messy, but sometimes it's just the best way. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll have to think about it. For better or Now this Ooh. is what makes you fully qualified in my eyes for you. Nicely done. Whenever you save a character, their bios will change to show what happens to them after the events of the fire. Each character's bio can change further based on how they are saved and who else is also saved alongside them. To read the character's bio, go to the conclusion event and highlight that character in the ring of hexagons. Surrounded the main session. Oh, we survived, uh, saved our first candidate, Linda. Okay. Let's see what happens. Linda, status alive. Day eight. Wednesday, O one fifty four, location backyard. Next, so we saved our first house, mate. Sunday, 1730. Location, dining room.
Oh, hey, Doc. Hi, Neil. How's it going? Good, yeah, really good. Glad to hear it. Oh, you were right about the bike. It's knackering, but, yeah, relaxing as well. Good. I'm glad it's doing something for you. Is there anything else you think might help? Well, you could go to a gym or try something like yoga or tai chi. Oh, not sure about yoga, mate. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But it seems to work for some people. But I think what you really need is just to talk to someone. Well, I don't know. Doesn't have to be a doctor. You know about support groups. What do you mean the things alcoholics go to? Yeah, but there's groups for all sorts of things, including anger management. You don't have to talk, you can just listen. But if you do want to talk, it'll be to people who understand exactly what you're going through because they've lived it as well. It might help just to know you're not alone. That sounds, um... That sounds okay. I've got some details of a few local groups. I'll, I'll dig some out for you. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that might be good. Thanks, Doc. Any time, Neil. Right about the bike. Day five, Sunday, eighteen thirty. Location backyard. You look miles away. Yeah. Something on your mind? Yeah. Well, why don't you tell the good doc all about it? Tell him. Oh, it's nothing really. Just take about two grand to fix. Holy shit. Well, what have you done now? Oh, it's not me. Okay. Some... Nigerian prince needing a plane ticket? No. It's Tom. What about Tom? He's got himself into a little bit of trouble. Tell me. Okay. You got two grand? Day 5, Sunday, 1900 hours. Location, Tom's room. What's up, Doc? Looks serious. We need a chat. About what? Firstly, your secret dope room in the basement. Shh. And then, this dodgy scumbag who's been blackmailing you. You've been talking to Raquel? I have, yeah. Why haven't you been talking to me? Doc, I didn't want to get you involved. So? You should have been talking to me. Yeah, Jen. Day 6, Sunday. Upstairs. 1904. Location. Raquel's room. Hi. Hey, what's up? Can I borrow a camera? What's wrong with the one on your phone? It's digital. Doesn't seem to work. I want to try film. Okay. What are you doing? You won't laugh. Cross my heart. I've had weird dreams. Strange feelings, deja vu, and, and I've been seeing things in the corner of my eye. But when I look, there's nothing there. Sounds like a typical Sunday morning to me. And the camera? Well, okay. I was looking on the internet uh -oh. and read about capturing ghosts and things oh. on film. Right. Was this next to the royal family of lizard people? No. 
I just thought I'd test this one out, scientifically. Well, I've been on the internet as well. Uh oh. Touche. I was on the NHS website and then some medical papers. Oh. And they said that certain hormonal changes... Okay. Oh. Oh, right. Well, it can cause some drugs to stop working. Okay. Drugs like the one you've been on since you were nine? Oh, fuck. Yeah. So... Do you still want that camera? Fuck it. Why not? Might as well play Ghostbuster for a bit. Might distract me. <laughs> sure thing. I'll dig something out for you in a bit. Thanks. And if you need anything else, who are you gonna call? <laughs> <laughs> well, why would I need to call anyone when I've got you? Girl has a point. Could it be that young Jenny can actually sense things outside of her normal time frame? It is possible. Got some events. Now, what would happen if we said no? Let's skip straight to this. Let's go to the kitchen. Day 6, Monday, 0903. Location, kitchen. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's chamomile tea. I just find it relaxing. Takes me back to being a little girl. My gran used to drink it all the time. She said it had magical healing properties. Oh, and did it? Don't know. Maybe that's what made her able to drink so much gin. I could make you one if you like. What about her doll? Yes. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay. Um, you know when Kieran was here? Yeah. I, uh... Overheard him talking with Raquel about that doll of hers. Oh, right. And, uh, Raquel called her doll Megan. Oh. That was her friend, wasn't it? The one who died. Yeah, it was. I, I just thought it was odd. I didn't say anything, not in front of Kieran, but I thought I'd better tell you. No, I, I understand. Leave it with me. I'll talk to her about it. Okay, good. Right, I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to your tea. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Chamomile tea. Two. So maybe we wouldn't have gotten that if we did this. Yep, we wouldn't have gotten that. Day 6, Monday, 0715. Location, living room. Hi, your mum. Hello, love. To what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, nothing really. Mm. I've got an hour or so before I start my shift and... I know you're always up at the crack of dawn, so I thought I'd ring up the old homestead. See how the butler was getting on. A cheeky. You <laughs> know we had to let the butler go. He had a terrible habit of stealing policemen's helmets. I thought that was Bertie. It was, dear. Well remembered. Well, they were my bedtime stories. Yes, and very enjoyable they were too. Better than Meg and Mog, anyway. Anyway, so what's new with you, Mum? Oh, not much. Your dad's talking about retiring. Really? I never thought he'd retire. When? Well, he says, uh, maybe a year, two. But then he wants to work on his handicap. <laughs> okay. Um, what about you? 
You ready to hang up your stethoscope and spurs as well? Oh, I've got plenty of life left in this old girl yet. Besides, I hate gold. I know. I don't know what he sees in the game. Anyway, I think the thing with your dad's retirement, though, is the practice. Well, can't you just get someone in? Well, he does have someone in mind, actually. Oh, good. You? Who? It's you. What? Of course. Really? Well, that's what he says. So, what do you think? No, for me. Well, if I was maybe ten years older, then I'd jump at the chance, but now? I don't think it's really where I saw myself going. Oh, that's fine, love. I know exactly what you mean. I shall tell him he should start looking elsewhere. Sorry? Oh, don't apologize. You need to think of yourself and what you want to do with your career. Thanks, Mum. Oh, that's okay, love. So, how's uh, Sarah getting on? Day 6, Monday, 0731. Location, bathroom. Okay, it's only an archo. Be cool. Relaxed. Aloof. That's it. Nailed it. Yeah. Day six, Monday, oh eight thirty two. Location Ben and Jenny's room. Oh, right, we take it. Right. Yeah, where's the film camera? A notable camera. Day 6, Monday, 0846. Location, Hall. With random pictures now. Hmm. Just taking pictures. <clears throat> 43? Right. What if one of the things she thinks she has been seeing around the house is actually you? This could be a problem. Oh. Day 6, Monday, 0903. Location, backyard. Yes, do you see me? What are you doing out here? Oh, I... I, I thought I heard something. Must have been a cat. And, uh, Why the camera? Oh, it's... Uh, it's something for Raquel. Something uh, arty. 
think so. I don't really know. Uh, what about the doll? Um, you know when Kieran was here? Yeah. I uh, overheard him talking with Raquel about that doll of hers. Oh. Oh, right. And uh, Raquel called the doll Megan. Oh. That was her friend, wasn't it? The one who died. Yeah, it was. I um, I just thought it was odd. I mean, I didn't say anything, not in front of Kieran, but... So this time it didn't take place you. in the kitchen. No, I understand. Her, Leave it with me. I'll, I'll talk to her about it. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Mr. Ben. Day six, Monday, ten fifteen. Location Ben and Jenny's room. Getting interesting with her. Bet she might be able to sense us. Sorry, Ray. I'm just on my way now. Um, yeah, I'll grab it now. Um, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Didn't bust any ghosts, but I've left the camera in the dark room. Great. Well, I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Hi. Camera in the dark room. We need to get that camera. That note? Could prove very useful, 43. Let's hope it's still there. Aha! A combination to the dark room. 51 left, 38, 46. LRL. So we can finally get into the dark room. Downstairs. Very nice. Finally. Locksmith achievement got. So why was this locked? Keeps it locked up in here. Et voila, 43. That will be the code for the safe. 206. Okay. Stuff. 
Alright, so where are we at? 43. My detectors are off the scale here. Be very, very careful with what you find in that safe. Alright. Well, we found something in this safe. So we're about to get our hands on it in the next part. So join me then with this cliffhanger. <laughs>